YouTubers, what's up? It's your boy Hamlet, and we're going to be bringing you some more content today about fuse box electrical for your big rig. All right, this is an 87 Peterbilt 379, and we have a fuse box issue here. What winds up happening is we're driving down the road, and the gauges start acting a little funky. They, they'll turn on, they turn off, they turn on, they turn off. What winds up happening, you, you're thinking like, oh my God, like, you know, I have some kind of issue, electrical, buried up in the dash, all right? Before we start going tracing any wires, we're gonna go to the source and we're gonna go to the fuse box, okay? Now, because this is an older truck, uh, uh, a much more older truck, 87, 1987, you're gonna have a lot more issues, um, can have a lot more issues with electrical and other issues too. But this fuse box has deteriorated because of all that time. What winds up happening is there's contacts, there's little pins on there. And when the fuse box was brand new, the pins were like this. They were nice and tight, all right? And we'll, we'll show you guys what we're talking about in there. They were nice and tight like this. And over time, people pulling fuses out, putting fuses in, they start opening up. And when you put that fuse in, the fuse is kind of dancing up in there. And because of this dancing up in there, you know, you're going down the road, you got the shaking, that'll cause the lights to go on and off flicker, all right? So what you can do, you can squeeze these these pins, these contacts together more tighter and put the fuse in and make sure it don't shake. That way you can eliminate the problem. But I will say this, it's kind of a band-aid, to be honest, because the copper, the, the copper pins, they become uh, fragile and they start eventually breaking and they don't have the, the spring tension in the in the metal anymore and they get fatigued and eventually it'll start spreading open at one, you know, every once in a while. And uh, the other issue is um, if that, obviously since it's copper and so thin, if you bend it a little too much, it might just break off. You might just break off the tip off, yep. You know, and that's when you have real problems. That's there. when you can have real problems, all right? So, like I said, he said this is a band aid. Um, it might just, you know, only be a one time thing where you just have to connect the, you know, squeeze a pin together. Yep. And that's not an issue. It's no problem. All right, so which one was loose that we were working with? This one right here, bro? Which one was that? That 20 app at the top? You, 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 did you do it already? No, I didn't do it. You said there was one that was loose. Did you do the uh, back one? Here, uh, try um, try these. Uh, see that yellow one on this the one? left side, the bottom. Bottom. This one. Above that one. Okay, that one. Ten You can see. You can feel it dancing in there. See, so you see this one is kind of just dancing in there. Look, I'm, my fingertip. Yeah, it's bad. Sign. Look, this is bad signs. Like a lot of these. See how good this one is? Like I'm kind of moving it, but it's not as bad. This one is. This one is. I just did oh. that one. It's pretty good. That one's alright. So look, look at this one. This one's this one's definitely got to get something done. Look how that one's just dancing in there. That one's dancing. That one's all right. That one's all right. That one's all right. So you see, you kind of got to you know take one apart, take one out, and we're gonna show you what's going on in here, right? Look, we will pull this one out, and the fuse is good, but uh, zoom in, bro. So you see these contacts right there. You see they're spread apart. What you want got to do is get a flathead like this. All right, make sure the tip is clean, and you got to just push down on these pins. Okay, like that, and like that. Sometimes it also helps if you get another one, just to push down and do this. Make sure you get a nice little, you know, like a jeweler's kit. Something that's gonna be really small to get up in here. All right, we're gonna be pushing these together. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is gonna put this back in and we're gonna test it out. This fucking glove. Oh, sorry. Uh, focus now. Go down a little bit. Right there, yeah. Alright, so now it's 
not dancing as much. And that was probably the break air, no air light. Yep. So that's not dancing as much now. So we're gonna have to do this one now, right? So you guys pretty much see it, all right? That's a little uh, hack there. I'm gonna turn this thing off so you can see. That's a little hack there, just to get that, you know, get your lights figured out. Uh, we can show you the one, the one for the light to simulate, you know, what goes on. So let's let's do that real quick. Okay. Uh, which one was it, bro? Which one was for the light? The the lights. Second, the yellow one at the bottom. Yellow one at the bottom on the left side. Yep. All right, so look, we're gonna be shaking this up a little bit. So you see, you'll get that effect, okay? But I kind of fixed that one already, so I had to actually pull that one out. So you get intermittent issues like that, anyhow. No. Yeah, and, and, and you usually only notice these things. For example, it could be the slightest little inconvenience. It could be your, your heater. Your heater blower goes up, your heater, you know, stops goes working. And off, yeah. And, or, or your radio, Lighters. or your phone charge, the 12 volt phone charger. Yep. Uh, it could be things like that, or, you know, obviously it could be something you notice during your pre trip, your lights don't come on. And, and this is this is usually the first place that you should start at. Yep. Uh, and then if it gets a little too advanced, then, you know, hey, send it to, you know, a shop or whatever. But hopefully that works for you guys. And that's the tech tip for the day. We're going to be signing off here, me and my brother. And as always, you get busy living or you get busy dying, folks. Happy holidays, guys. Trucking to your head a million.